Hi, today I'm going to show you an easy way to make cool Facebook covers using Smilebox. Now the first thing you'll want to do is install the Smilebox application on your computer and once you've done that, when you open it up, you're going to come to this page that's called Design Catalog. It's going to give you lots and lots of options for fun things to do, but today we're going to look at this button right here. It says Browse by Format and that's going to take us to another page with all kinds of uh, different formats available in Smilebox and they've got lots of great things to do. Today we're going to click on this one which is collages and then we're going to look at this one right here for Facebook covers. <clears throat> now they have several different designs in here that you can choose. Today I'm going to show you how to do a Facebook collage and this will come on with some music. <laughs> okay so you click personalize. Um, if you've already put photos in here and you just want to use those you can click autofill. I'm going to say no thanks so we can do it one by one. So once you come to this page you have the option of just taking the uh, basic design they have here which is um, the linen background with one photo. You could drag a photo in here and use that as your cover and move it around until you find something that you like. But we're going to do something a little different here. I'm going to come over here and we're going to choose six photos. And you see that there's lots of different um, options here and ways that you can choose your photos. But we're just going to pick this one right here. <clears throat> now it's very simple. All you have to do is just get some photos over here, drag them into the boxes. Very, very simple to do. Um, you can move them up or down as you need to to make them fit in the spaces that you want. And then if you want to move them around, you just do that and they'll switch. Very, very simple program to use and a lot of fun. Now if you don't already have your photos in here, I'd already loaded these. If you've never used Smilebox, um, this also is very simple. You could come over here and say, oh, I want one more picture to add. Um, you can either get it from iPhone, uh, from Facebook, or you can choose my computer. It's very simple. Go into your pictures library and, and just choose any photo that you want to put in there. Um, choose another swimming po photo. And it'll put it in here. Oh, I already had that one, but we'll put it in there. And then you have the option to, to move that in. Now, if your photos are very large, you're not going to be able to zoom out too much, but you can also zoom in and rotate and do a few basic things. Now, once you get the photos in there and you've got the ones that you want and you have them positioned the way you like, then you can choose your background. You have options between linen, mesh, wood, paper grid, or you can just select a solid color. So you can do white, black, gray, uh, pink, lots of different things. That's a little bright. Um, get rid of this. And then down here, if you want to write something, you can say, um, you know, welcome to my Facebook page. Whatever you want to write down here. Um, and you can change the color, um, the size. You can also change the font down here. So however you want that to look down there, and if you'd like to make it go to the center or right aligned, you can also choose that. Now once you're done and you have this looking the way you'd like it to look, um, you can save it and it will save it um, to your Smilebox uh, folder on your computer. But then what you need to do so that you can put it onto Facebook is go up here. First you can preview it if you'd like. It'll show you what it's going to look like. It's really not going to be that big on Facebook. Um, hit share, print, or DVD. Come down here to save it as a JPEG image. And you want to save it as a JPEG image for using at home. You choose the location where you want to do it. I'm just going to put it here on the desktop. Choose save and it's going to save it um, right on your desktop or wherever you chose to save it. And then you can just go to uh, Facebook, find this photo and upload it just the way you do any cover photo. And that's how simple it is. Thanks for watching.